So let me ask you guys a question. If you're someone that's in Hollywood and you're in movies, this is Shazam, Zachary Levi, you know, and you come out and you decide that you want to support Donald Trump and you end up speaking at a conference talking about people's health, you know, how we got to get healthy again, how uh, certain viewpoints line up with your viewpoints. Do you think people would just sit back and be like, oh, cool, you know, he's speaking his mind. I might not agree with him, but that's okay. Um, you know, we live in a free country. You should be able to vote for whoever you want because that's the beauty of America. Well, according to social media, Zachary's done. No more Shazam. It's over. He's the worst person ever. Uh, he's a loser. Chuck was the worst show. I mean, these people and their TDS is insane. And I'll show you some of the things that they're saying. But before we get into this, could you do me a huge favor and please hit the subscribe button. It's a free thing that you can do that helps out the channel. Um, and I really appreciate it. Thank you. Now, here's the thing. Zachary Levi has been pushing for Robert Kennedy Jr. Uh, since day one. If you follow his social medias, you see this. And uh, nobody was giving him that much crap for it. But then he comes out because Robert Kennedy said, I'm voting for Trump. I'm, I'm leaving the race. And so now Zachary comes out and he endorses Donald Trump. He says, we're going to take back this country and make it great again. All right, Zachary, that's your choice. Most of the time, people from Hollywood are endorsing the other people, and they are beyond cringy about it. But uh, if you remember, when Gina Carano talked a little politics, they dismissed her, canceled her. They did away with her. They said horrible things. They wanted her to self-delete and erase from existence just because she asked some questions. Well, it looks like Zachary's getting the same treatment. I guess Zachary wants to work in an alt-right crappy Christian movie from now on. F you, dude. We can't trust politicians, so I'm going to vote for the guy who ruined this country for four years as the president. And I don't care if he's racist, homophobic, or transphobic. F you, dude. Man, these people are so angry. I mean, look at the quote tweet. He's like, uh, oh, this is so incredibly embarrassing. Man, I heard Shazam 3 wasn't happening. And he went full mask off. He went mask off because he wants to vote for someone that you're not voting for? You're that angry with them? F you? F you? Uh, I, I just, wild stuff, man. And these actually are the nice ones. What's crazy is a lot of people are saying this as well. They're like, man lost his job and decided to go full Gina Carano. Uh, how did he lose his job? Like, he was just in a film. Did it do well? No. Bombed. The Purple Crayon. Uh, he was in Shazam. He played Chuck. He's had a great career that I, I'm pretty sure many of you would trade places to have his type of Hollywood career. Uh, it doesn't come by that easy. But then to say... He's going full Carano by endorsing a candidate he believes in. You mean he's free to do that? He's not going to go with the crowd. He's not going to walk, you know, the open road with everyone. He's not going to be a sheep like most of Hollywood <laughs> and just do what they tell him to do. Um, is that what you mean by going full Carano? I, I, don't, I don't know. Um, that sounds pretty good to me. Like, I, I would rather be free to speak my mind and have my own opinions and not be afraid to vote for who I want to vote for. But uh, obviously, the other side, they like being like this. Oh, this guy's got a great name. Zachary Levi and Gina Carano are about to be in the same $2 budget movies. Now, look at this right here. 43,000 views or impressions. This is the, the same problem that I've had with X is that a lot of these accounts that don't have check marks, they make these type of statements and yet either the like the bots or whatever just shove these things in the limelight. You know, they get tons of traction. And when people start to get tons of traction on a certain topic, they'll keep pushing that topic like they won't stop. 
So if slamming Gina or slamming someone that wants to vote for Trump is getting them all this interaction, they're going to keep pushing that. They're going to keep pushing that because that's what everyone's looking at. But um, I, it would be it would be cool, in my opinion. You get get all these canceled celebrities, right? Fine, get all of them because they want to vote something different. It'd be cool to see them all like start their own studio and start putting together their own films, things like that. I bet they'd be shocked about the support because I've seen these people at the conventions. I've seen their lines. I hear what the people have to say, and they're all for it. They're all for it. Like this account right here, the red hoodie free Palestine. I think this has like 2 million impressions. It, it's crazy. He's like, Zachary just nuked his Hollywood career. Good riddance. By supporting a party that's anti-woman, climate change denier, tax the poor and uplift the rich, and pro-NRA, he's out. He's going to be making Christian direct-to-video movies with Gina Carano at the Daily Wire. It, what is, uh, what's the problem about making Christian films? Like, what that that's the issue now, is they're just lumping it all together. Things that we don't like, things that we don't want around things that we want to control, Christian movements, Christian films, okay, um, conservative actors, people that want to vote differently than you. Now, like I said earlier, these were the nice ones. There's some that I was just like, you know what, I'm not going to put, most of you people have seen them already, you know, the death threats and all that stuff that, that they want this man to go through. It's really disturbing. I mean, the, the stuff that they detailed out on how they want him to be erased from this world is truly disgusting. And look at my man, Epic Mike here. He says, the amount of dumb people going after Zachary and wishing death and harm on him for endorsing Trump is wild. That kind of energy follows you. Don't wish death on people, especially over dumb stuff like politics. Shouldn't do it, Period. They, we should have different of opinions. Listen, I've made videos on Mark Hamill, and, he, and we all know he's got crazy TDS. But the main reason why I pick Mark Hamill is that he's still an employee of Lucasfilm. And because he wasn't fired, but Gino was, because they came out and they said, no, we don't want any you know politics stuff. You know, We told her to, to stop all that stuff. And she did it anyway, and so she's gone. But you're you're letting Mark Hamill come out and say these things? It, it was the double standard. Now, if they had fired Mark and fired Pedro and everything, I'm like, well, what can we report? They drew a line in the sand. They said, don't cross it, anybody, no matter where you stand politically. And, uh, you know, don't cross it or you're done. But they didn't do that. It's It's because you have a certain way of thinking. Standing on the right side of things. That's what makes you an enemy and a target. So we're going to keep an eye on Zachary and see what he has to say. I've met the man a few times at these conventions. His lines are just as long as anyone else's. Don't let anybody tell you differently. There's people out there saying, oh, I've seen him at conventions with no lines. No lines. Now, listen, there's a time when, when like those conventions are getting ready to close where you can find almost zero lines for a lot of these people out there signing autographs. If you catch it at the right spot, if they're still there and you see their line is like uh, whittling down and they haven't cut the line yet, you can get in where there's like four or five people. Like, Don't let these people say this kind of stuff. I can do it for all their celebrities. I can do it for the entire cast of The Acolyte that shows up. I can take pictures of their dead lines. And say, look, no one's here. Uh, that's It's just a false narrative. It's just a false narrative. So we'll see what's happening. What do you guys think? Should he have just kept his mouth shut? Or are you proud that someone will come out and say, no, look, man, uh, I appreciate him knowing what he's going to deal with, knowing what he's going to go through. And he did it anyway. He did it anyway. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. This is Jay. We'll catch you next time.